What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about increasing the hash rate of your LHR cards, more specifically the 3060s. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, miners, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's take a look at my surge rig. My surge rig is made up of a variety of different cards. We have 3060 Ti, 1660 Ti's, 3060s in here, actually quite a variety of 3060s. We have the uh, Asus 3060, which is on Samsung. We have the Gigabyte uh, 3060, which is on Samsung. And finally, our EVGA 3060 is on Samsung, all GDDR6 memory. Now, let's talk about our overclock settings, because right now we're right around 35 to 36 mega hash on our current configuration. And that is a, uh, a locked core clock of 1,575 with a memory clock of 2,600. Now, I leave my fans at 100 because I'll be honest with you, fans are cheap, GPUs are not. So it's always better to run your fans at 100% and replace the fans as needed. And our power limit is at 120. Now, you can adjust this power limit where you see fit. You know, a lot of people will boost this up a little bit if your electricity rate is a little bit cheaper in order to get a little extra mega hash, but I really enjoy the efficiency of the 3060s, so I keep mine down around 120. So, how are we going to go ahead and increase our mega hash? Well, I don't traditionally do videos on a lot of these different minor updates and stuff like that, but I thought this one is significant enough that I want to share it with you guys. So, in Hive OS right now, it's currently the 17th of April, there was an update that dropped on the 15th. And we can take a look right up here. It actually is telling me T-Rex version 25.12. And I'm not going to read all the notes on it, but let's get into a little bit of it. Improved LHR unlock functionality on ETHash. In dual modes and auto Lycos, LHR performance is unchanged. Expected about 78 to 79% in normal mode. That's huge. We're slowly getting to that 80% and 75% in the low power mode if you're so interested. So what does that mean for us? That means that we can go ahead and increase our hash rate by just upgrading our miner, which T-Rex, the latest version of T-Rex miner, is in the latest version of Hive OS. So what I'm going to do here is I want to go ahead and take a screenshot of where we're currently sitting right now. And we can take a look at our 3060 here. So we got GPU zero. Uh, now the 1660 Ti's, I don't believe will be affected by this at all because there's no LHR. But we'll take a look at GPU three, which is a 3060, GPU four, which is a 3060, and GPU five, which is a 3060, because all of these cards here have LHR lockers on them. So let's go ahead and select the upgrade up top. Let's force the upgrade, force the reboot. Let's click upgrade, and I will see you guys on the other side. So while the upgrade's going on, I thought, hey, let's go ahead and show you guys my surge rig. Um, microphone might sound a little weird in here uh, just because of how loud it is and the noise distortion, but let's go ahead and take a look. So this is our surge rig here. So we have the 1660, 1660 uh, right in here. We then also have our 3060, Oh, I'm sorry, 3060, 3060, and 3060. And on the very end, we have a 3060 Ti. You can actually see, look, here's my uh, ROG Strix, Asus ROG Strix. You can see that fan's going already, even though it's a brand new rig. So this is actually on the frame that I built. If you guys remember, we did the custom frame that we built, and this is on a riserless motherboard here. Uh, that's the ASRock 510 riserless motherboard. We're running two of the Superflower 500 watt power supplies in that rig. I'm sorry, I'm trying to step back and out of the way so that the microphone doesn't sound as odd within here. But these are our 3060s. I actually looked at getting the fan to replace the fans on here. To replace all three of these fans, it's like $60. One of these alone is like $15 for these cards, which is unbelievable because this card is like six months old. And I, just, I hate to replace it, but one of those fans is going bad there. So let's go ahead and jump back over to our computer. And let's go ahead and see if this rig has updated yet and what our new hash rate is. Okay, guys, so take a look at this. 
So my 3060 Ti has actually jumped from 41.78 mega hash up to 45.05. That's awesome. So jumping down my 1660 Ti is unaffected, of course. Let's look at GPU 3. We were at 30, where are we? 35.43. We're now at 38.74. But take a look at the gigabyte. The gigabyte went from 36.03 up to 39.11. Holy cow. Guys, we're almost at 40 mega hash right now. And finally, the EVGA at the bottom. Was it 35.98? Now we're up to 38.83. That's incredible. Like, this is like the easiest gain possible. If you guys remember, like a lot of these um, miners in the past had all these different things like, oh, you have to get it and you have to configure the miner like this. You got to put this in the batch file. Or if you remember like the developer driver that you could do with the 3060s early on, on like you had to be on Windows. You have to have the developer driver. You have to have version one. You have to have a dummy plug plugged in. Like the whole pecking list of things that you had to have in order to, you know, go ahead and trick things. Uh, but this is incredible. I'm so thrilled about this. I do feel that we're slowly getting to a ceiling when it comes down to our LHR cards and how much those miners can go ahead and trick the LHR um, feature on them. But this is incredible. I love this. So Guys, make sure if you're in Hive OS that you go to all your rigs and upgrade, especially NVIDIA, upgrade um, all of your rigs to take advantage of the brand new T-Rex miner, especially if you're on 3060s, man. I mean, this will work, of course, across the board for all of our LHR cards, but more specifically, uh, today's video, I wanted to focus on the comparisons on my 3060s and how I benefited from upgrading to the latest T-Rex driver. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Huge shout outs to the T-Rex team and the miner that they have gone ahead and put out with the latest version. This is incredible for us miners. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.